Okay, so in this video I'm going to have a look at the 2021 Higher Level Leaving Cert Maths Paper 1, question 6. Okay, so we have a diagram. It shows a graph of h prime x, the derivative of a cubic function h of x. Show that h prime x is equal to minus 2x squared plus 4x uh, plus 6. So let's have a look at this. We have um, two roots here. We have minus 1 and plus 3, and we can see that it cuts the y-axis at 0, 6. So let's have a look at our function. Um, it's h It's h prime x is equal to minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 6. So what I'm going to do is just simply have a look at the roots of this function here and see do we get uh, minus 1 and plus 3. So let's do that. Uh, so if I take 0 is equal to minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 6, that'll just give me 0 is equal to, I'm going to divide across by minus 2, so 0 divided by minus 2 is 0, I'll get x squared here, minus 2x here, minus 3 here, so let's just factorize this. So that'll give us x here, x here, 3 times 1. I need a minus 2, so it's going to be minus times plus. So that'll give me um, x is equal to 3 and minus 1. And our two roots from the graph are minus 1 and 3. So this is uh, true, you know, from, from the graph. So these are the roots of h prime x. Okay, so the other thing we've got to do is have a look at where it cuts the y-axis. So we can see that the function cuts the y-axis here at 0, 6. So let's see if we put in 0 here for, for x, will we get 6? So let's put in uh, our y value here of 6 and 0 in here. So we end up with 6 is equal to this becomes 0, this becomes 0. So we do get 6 is equal to 6, so that's correct. So this is true. So the y-intercept is 0. 6. And that's really all we've got to do in that part of the question. Okay, let's have a look at the next question then. We have um, h prime x and we've got to use that to find the maximum possible value for the slope of a tangent to h of x. So if we look at our graph again, we can see that there is a maximum. Remember, this is the graph of the slopes of tangents to h of x. So we can see that the maximum slope is going to be somewhere up along here, uh, above 6. So there seems to be a slope, a maximum slope here at 1. You can actually see halfway between minus 1 and 3 is going to be, is going to be 1 here. So there's going to be a maximum value for this function here at x is equal to 1. But if you wanted to do that, uh, just to confirm that it's 1, what you can do is just take your function, h prime x, which is equal to uh, minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 6. And you can get the slope of this graph. So in other words, it's just going to be h double prime x. So that would give us minus 4x plus 4, let that equal to 0, minus 4x plus 4, that'll give us uh, minus 4 is equal to minus 4x, that'll give us x is equal to 1. And we guess that anyway from our graph here, we can see that there is going to be a maximum here at x is equal to 1, halfway between minus 1 and 3. So we just confirmed that. So. Uh, we have to find the maximum possible, possible value for the slope of a tangent. Find the, the maximum possible value. So at x is equal to 1, h prime x is going to be equal to minus 2 times 1 squared plus 4 times 1 plus 6 
that'll give us minus 2 plus 4 plus 6 that'll give us 6 and 4 is 10 minus 2 which is 8 so our maximum value our maximum slope for h of x is 8 okay so that's uh, part b let's have a look at part c the graph of h of x passes through the point 0 minus 2 find the equation of h of x so we have our function our original function h prime of x our slope function which is minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 6 we've got to work backwards to find h of x so the way you would do that is integrate so h of x then is going to be the integral of this function here so we've got to find the integral of minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 6 with respect to x so when we integrate this because this is a um, an indefinite integral uh, we're going to get a function with c in it, a constant of integration so we've got to use the extra bit of information here that they've given us to work out what c is so let's do the integration first anyway and see what we end up with we're going to end up with minus 2x cubed over 3 increase the power by 1 and divide by the power plus 4x squared over 2 plus 6x and then we've got to add our constant of integration as well so that'll give us minus 2x cubed over 3 plus 2x squared plus 6x plus c so this is our original function or at least the general form of our original function we now need to use the fact that the point 0 minus 2 is on this function on this graph to find what c is so 0 minus 2 is on the function so at 0 minus 2 here we've got y which is minus 2 is going to be equal to minus 2 times x which is 0 we've got to cube that divide by 3 plus 2 times 0 we've got to square that plus 6 times uh, 0 plus c so what we end up with our y value or our c value I should say is going to be in fact our y value here which is minus 2 here we've got this becomes 0 this becomes 0 and this becomes 0 so we get c as minus 2 so our final original function if you like is going to be h of x is equal to minus 2 over 3 x cubed plus 2 x squared plus 6 x and then our c is minus 2 that's our h of x find the equation of h of x is what we were asked to do and that's what we've done there okay so that's it for this particular question